216-578-1007 to join us or 800-348-1007. And 35192, I want to text me. Uh, Cavs got rolled over last night in Boston by the Celtics. Uh, who they got? Kemba Walker in Boston? Yeah, they do. And Jason Tatum and mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, 110 to 88 was the final last night. That's a pretty decisive victory. Uh, they're off tonight. Tomorrow night, they will be back here at home. Cavaliers uh, will play the Rockets. Well, there's an easy team to beat. Uh, that'll be a 7 o'clock game. Actually, he- Alan. <laughs> <laughs> a 7 o'clock game here on MMS. Uh, so 6.30 when we get out of here, that is when your pregame coverage will begin. Um, and if you want to get yourself some appropriate gear from CLE Clothing Company, make sure that you use the word JOY all through the month of December, and that'll get you 20% off whatever you buy. Right off the top. No matter how many... There's no maximum number of times you can use it within the span of a month. Let's paint the picture of somebody who maybe is obsessed with Cleveland-oriented T-shirts, right? But they've got a... today. There you go. Me too. A lot of time. Bill's wearing his cruising with the buzzard. Yeah. Classic T-shirt. Um, but imagine the person who has immense disposable income, lots of time, and so uh, you know they're obsessed with uh, Cleveland wear, and they went in there every single day that month. You know, Cleveland Clothing Company is always getting new things in. I don't know if they're getting new things in every day, but this is a person who goes in. Every day. That person could conceivably use joy every day to get 20% off whatever they bought. And with I'm the worried hu- about their time management <laughs> skills, really. You're he going said they have day. a lot of time. This is a person, they, they're, 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 like, they're independently wealthy, okay, Bill. All right, Maybe all they right. live on East 4th Street. What do they do? Right there. But they don't even have, I mean, sure, that's the flagship store. They but they could go to Crocker Park. Ones. Oh, of course. <laughs> I like it. Maybe they have multiple homes. One in Crocker Park, one on 4th Street. There you go. And they can just spend the night. And... What's uh, Van Aken? they got one out there Van now, right? Aken, yes, they do. Summit Mall in Akron, if you're in the AK Rowdy. So, oh. yeah, joy throughout the remainder of December. And then when we get back here in January, uh, there'll be a new one for you. Resolution? Huh? Kind of yeah, may, yeah. I don't know. Re- resolve. I don't know cold. what it's going to be. Cold. <laughs> Just cold. Yeah. January is like my least favorite month of the year. Well, it's gray. You know, around these gray, parts. Yeah, it's, it's not cold. a whole lot going on. It's like like that's when it's blisteringly cold. I feel like in January, it's not really snowing a lot. It's just negative thirty, and you have to stay inside. And it's I don't like. I feel well, like it only gets that cold like every other year. I don't like January. I feel like last year didn't get like there were cold I times, had, but it wasn't. Nearly last year as was the bad. polar vortex. Every last year was the, when every it was year's the polar vortex or whatever. Every year you get a little bit. You, you get, get a taste of a, a polar vortex. I had a bunch of shows canceled because of cold last year. I had a whole run canceled. No, that was Indiana, but yeah, it was still that's... just. It was still negative forty with the wind chill here. Yeah, for like a week. This still week is like, supposed to be real cold too. I don't like it. Yeah, it's dropped under it was freezing. Forty and raining or fifty and raining yesterday. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so sorry tonight's show has been canceled because of cold. That's what it is. Your it's tickets too are available. Re- refund at the point of purchase. I didn't turn my, I usually turn my heat up a little bit when I go to bed and I didn't do that last night. Yeah. Uh, and I was freezing. I woke up in the middle of the night like shivering. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's probably like what 78 in your room? No, I keep my apartment <laughs> I keep my apartment at 68 when I'm just hanging out, but I will be in like sweatpants, a long sleeve shirt mm. and my like fuzzy socks. And I'll usually have a blanket, but I keep it at like 68, and then when I go to bed, I turn it up to like 70 or 72, because that's like 68. Wow. What if you just turned it up one degree more? I can't. That goes every two. I have an old, what that like, be? was that 69? Nice. Yeah. Uh, listen, uh, yeah, you got to get to mine. I have one it's of those just... old, like, oh, circles. Oh, Like you the do. circle thing on the wall. That's what I have. You don't have a nest where you can do it on your phone? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I have a Google Nest that I called Alexa the other day. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Hey Alexa, play Spotify, and it didn't work, and I was like, "What the?" Well, that's a bummer. Okay, Uh, so it's a balmy sixty-eight at Casa Santora, then. It's well, it was freezing in the nighttime. Mm. It's my my bedroom is I'd say five degrees colder than the rest. And you're subterranean, so exactly. Yeah. In the living room, that's where the main vent is, so the living room stays nice and warm. But then my bedroom is, like I said, my bed is in the corner because it doesn't fit anywhere else of like the ground. So the walls are 
freezing. It's sure, 30 I degree understand. outside ground I weather. I understand. So I like, yeah. it's very cold. I, see, I like a cold bedroom with a nice warm blanket. That's but then it's really, really hard to get out of bed. That's fine by me. It's hard I to get out of bed anyway. He's trying to stay in bed anyway, but he's trying to set up the environment mm-hmm. to be most conducive for sleeping. Oh, like you don't want it too cold when you're banging because then it's like, shrinkage. Yeah, well, not even shrinkage. Like it's just it. You want it to be comfortable. Shrinkage. You want it to be comfortable. He's like, not I'm getting not out of a cold shrinkage. pool. Yes, I'm not, I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, it's still going to shrivel up a little bit, right? No, because No, not in a coldish not, room. Not if know. you're excited. I don't have one. Not if you're doing what we, you know, what I've done. It wouldn't it wouldn't just like half mast it? No. Because it's too cold to go all the way? No. no. I don't know. You're not banging an ice cube. I mean, it's another <laughs> human being that... Haven't uh, passed. Not as, not as enjoyable? <laughs> yeah, some, some cold ladies out there with cold hearts. You'll warm them all up, Bill. I, I believe in you. I do my best. I, one by one, you will get out there, and you will melt their pee-picking little hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I was ordering myself a new Blackhawks uh, cap, and uh, I came across an advertisement for Snoop Dogg is doing color commentary. Boy, this guy, you know, Snoop Dogg, you have to respect this guy's hustle to uh, the trajectory of this guy's career to be one of the most maligned and feared artists in the game. And he really was. I mean, yeah. he got lumped in with every bad thing that would happen in the hip-hop community for a while, and he, you know, to where he's just a cuddly, lovable man now. Uh, but he still keeps his cred. He's still Snoop Dogg. But, boy, he uh, does color commentary for the new NHL 20 video game. Now, you don't necessarily associate Snoop with hockey. But he's, you know, I, he's a big Kings know. fan, I think, or is he a Penguins fan? Because I know well, he's, he's a Steeler fan. fan. I don't know if he pays. I think, cl- I think he's a Kings fan, and I think he in Vegas got into. Well, no, no, that's the Knights. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the Sacramento Kings. No, no, L.A. Los Kings. L.A. Kings. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You got it. Wayne Gretzky's yeah. old stomping yes. grounds. Yeah. So I think he is a a hockey fan, but only in like recent years. And I think he called a game. There's like a viral clip of him doing play by play from a few years ago. That's quite funny. I must have he missed that. He, we, I think we played on the show. I think you just forgot about it. I probably still missed it. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I, I don't know what happens here. Played it. Yeah. You played the it. The one, the only, Snoop Dogg in the house. Double G with the D-O-double G. What a pleasure. Score! Oh, what a shot for the Toronto Maple Leafs. <laughs> Toronto Maple Leafs. I love that. The best shot. Oh! What a hit. I love that. He wasn't looking. Woo! I am D O double G. Uh huh. There you go. As if you had any confusion as to who he is. Um, yeah. So you know, good for him. Uh, my Blackhawks are playing uh, Vegas tonight. I haven't really been paying attention to those Golden Knights. That's hockey. It is hockey. Yeah. I've never gotten into hockey. Blackhawks are really crap. Same with the Blue Jackets here in state. Uh, really crap in the bed right now. Um, Snoop Dogg calls greatest power play in hockey history. How yeah. old is this? Uh, I want to say it's a few old. Years. Yeah. No, wow. I think, no, I think it's like three or four years. Really? I think it's that old. Okay. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. A lot of things have happened over the course of my decade here at MMS that I simply don't recall. It seems like happening. hockey's a very. I've I've seen a few games, and when I have gone to them, I've never been to like a like a major league hockey game. I don't think. Uh, when we had who did we have here a long time ago? The it's Lumberjacks. Less than a year old. Was that a Cleveland team? The yeah. Cleveland I, I Lumberjacks? I don't know. That would have been before my time Yes, they, they, we had the Lumberjacks. I think that was the last hockey game I went to. You haven't and gone to a Monsters a game? Mm-mm. Really? It's really? a lot of fun. It seems like, I feel like I've enjoyed it while I was there, but it's not really, it's kind of like basketball. Yeah. It's one of those things that I'm like, I get it, but. Speaking of uh, Lumberjacks, though, there was a Lumberjack at the party last night, though. Oh, yeah? The one we talking about, the same yep. one? Yep. Oh. Yeah, I pointed him out to you guys. You did? When I was like, that's the exact guy I was talking about on air. When I was like a guy who's like in his forties, who's got a nice head of hair and his belt, and I pointed him out to you. I don't recall that. Um, mm-hmm. I'll, I'll I'll type the name. And... <laughs> well, no, I I it's oh it's someone I know. It's well, someone I who brought, it was so. a plus one. Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Either way. Here we go. If you're Here's hanging a... around. You're doing this job. Here's the power play. We're gonna face off real quick. Rep yeah, this was the Penguins versus the Kings. It was like ten months Drop ago. The puck on the ice. We were close to our side of the line. He drops it. There's a real. He didn't drop it. He picked him. Baked him, baked him, and faked him. <laughs> Here we go again. Come on, ref. You're looking at his eyes. Drop the puck. Kicked him out. Gone. 
You got to get a new person in there. Out of there. You talk too much. Somebody else. New guy. Dropped it. There it goes. Get your back. Watch your back. There it is. Right behind his back. 23 trying to slide in where you ride in. <laughs> trying to slide in where you ride in. <laughs> He's good, man. Calling a hockey game? Holy cow. I respect those guys. It's going to be hard. Mike Lang, who called for the Pittsburgh Penguins when I worked for them years ago. One of the greatest awesome. in the game. Such a fast-paced sport. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's not like football where there's a bunch of time to fill. Like with that, There's a lot of downtime in or football. Baseball or baseball. Baseball, yeah. same with that. But like hockey, it's just bam, 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 bam. So. Yep. So, yeah. Good for Snoop. I think they should have a lot of, a lot more, like, instead of, like, retired athletes or whatever, they should have, like, more celebrities just do that. I think it would be uh, call hockey yeah. games. Yeah, I think it would be sports funny. announcing. I, I, mm-hmm. Like all the knockoff celebrities. Yeah, like, but, well, the, the, yeah, they've tried that a few times with football, and it has well, just produced really uh, less than but desirable. But you know, I feel results. like you also <laughs> have to get like a perfect crossover of someone who really does enjoy and understand the game. Yeah. And you know knows the ins and outs of it, but also is has comedic timing. I remember, or has, I remember one time I, I turned on. Well, I didn't turn it on. I was over a friend's house, and it was like on Sports Center, and it was Nelly sitting with like Stephen A. Smith or something like that. I'm like, why is Nelly on Sports Center? Because he's a Blues fan, probably. That's his hometown team. I yeah, I guess so. But I just it made me laugh because I'm like, he's sitting here. And they'll like, go on and talk sports and stuff because it. But what, and then it's a good way to promote their their albums. But and what what athlete has that crossover? Like how, how many people can do that? Because if you saw I don't know, like Kendrick Lamar or Drake on there, they'd be like, shut up, get off. Well, they're like, wait, what athlete has that crossover? Mm-hmm. Like what's what rapper or like pop star or whatever? Not okay, every, that, not everyone can do that. That's not an athlete. That's what celebrity has that crossover. They've probably celebrity, they've probably that. had Drake do Maple Leaf stuff before. Have they? Uh, I would imagine I don't know. maybe. I can't get anything. I feel like but he's one of their national of heroes yeah. now. Drake. Yeah. Is it because he uh, texts underage girls? Is that why he's a hero? Is that what he's Does doing? He do that? I mean, doesn't he? I don't Does know. he? No, I'm not like, an underage girl. I've never gotten a text from Drake. Millie Bobby Brown. He's like texting her. And oh, I thought he just said something on tw- uh, Instagram that he liked her. I thought they were messaging each other or whatever. I don't really? Know. Yeah. Drake and... There's I mean, like another girl, too. I can't remember who it is. But anyway. Maybe I got to tell you, I would not be displeased... This seems, yeah, this seems like something Cody would know. ...to see Drake and Millie Bobby Brown uh, get together. I don't even know who Millie Bobby Brown is. From Stranger Things. Eleven. Eleven! Millie Bobby Brown. Millie I know Bobby that was Brown. her name. Yeah. I was thinking uh, Bobby Brown had a daughter that he named Millie no, that was and then m- his own name. Bobby Christina. And she passed away. She's dead, yeah. She died in a tub. Yeah. Bobby Brown has really bad luck with women. No, I mean, he's married and has kids now. I don't know. But his daughter died and his ex-wife died. Yeah, but everybody yeah. else. And cool. they both died the same way, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. 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 I think that's bad. That's a run of bad luck. It's did, a conspiracy. How old is she? Did they have Jimmy Kimmel is in the he? booth for a while in Monday Night Football? That's what I'm saying. Somebody who knows, like, they have comedic timing. Yeah. They know but what they're also, talking about. It's one of those things where... They follow a certain team or whatever, you know? You, you got, it's very dangerous because comics go for the joke over anything, and then people get offended, and that's not what they want. So there's a certain level of vanilla that they want in broadcasting when it comes to sports because they don't want people to get... Worked up over what announcers say. I guess I. I mean, and they uh, did not like Kimmel on Monday Night Football. He no. was not well received because he kept making jokes I that bet. the people See, in I the didn't booth think thought were part. like the, not um, classy, and you know. During mm-hmm. one of the playoff games, I was at Hilarities with the Sklar Brothers, and they did a live commentary of like the first half of the game, and right. I, it was great because they're really into basketball. They knew what they were talking about, but it was mm-hmm. funny as well. Yeah. I guess coming from someone who isn't so invested in sports, I don't need every single detail and stat and everything like that I'd rather it be a little bit funny than well, the it's other a, way. The good thing about people that like sports is they don't take it too seriously. Yeah, that's, that's true. really that true. they have a uh, level head about yeah. it you know, well, they, this is just a game why would I get super worked up over it? That's right. right. Like I'm a, not even out there playing, I'm just living vicariously through other people and then I, uh, why would I make that be the most important thing in my life? For instance, uh, a scenario in which, let's say, all the football words were coming out of a woman's mouth Mm -hmm. and into the microphone. They would be like, hey, this is awesome. This game needs more diversity. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. I don't care who says it as long as they say it. That's That's right. As long as they're giving me the information I need Mm -hmm. to enliven this game for me. It doesn't matter to me if it's a male or a female announcer. You think they'd be more mad if it was like 
you know, the woman she was doing a good job or was someone like me who was like, the big guy on the orange squad hit him, and now the ball, they got to figure out where the ball goes. Like, I would actually <laughs> love them to do that because people would lose their mind. <laughs> you think they they'd get, be oh, so they get mad? So mad. <laughs> I mean, I know enough about football, but I don't know names of players. I don't know. I mean, that was obviously very far the other way. But it would just be like, I don't have any insight. I would just be mm-hmm. like, I think they're going to go for it. They should it. probably try and get a first down or a touchdown or I something. I think touchdowns are probably more important, but mm-hmm. you know, you never know what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You never know what they're going to do. Just very vague. <laughs> tell you what. It's first down. Guy. They might punt. We don't know. <laughs> they might run the other way. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you run the ball. Sometimes you throw it. Oh, yeah. just, you throw you the know? ball to the other team. That's a bad idea. It's not a great thing. I don't but... know why they did that. Right. They, that, they, that had, they, they, they had asked me. They had asked me one time. My tenure with the Penguins, they were like, "You want to come up and you want to do some play-by-play or not play with the like low collared screw yeah. around on the, the." I said, "Absolutely not, absolutely not." I said, "Because what you guys do, I'm just going to be up there. I'm going to sound like a douche, right?" And what you guys do is like really. I, listen, I like it's broadcasting. Yeah. yeah, I respect broadcasting, and I was like, uh, "I was like, no, I'm not going to get in there and be that guy." There's mm-hmm. an art to it, and there's the the chemistry between the two announcers in the booth is very important to. That broadcast. Well, I knew the guys. So that's why they asked. Yeah. But I was like, nope. I'm fine doing the arena mm-hmm. game hosting and all that, you know. But I'm like, I'm not going up there and doing that. Yeah. Because there's no upside for me for that. Right. It'll you just don't make come people angry. Yeah. And I, I want to screw up their, uh, you know. Because oh, that'll mess them that. up if they got uh, somebody who's trying to be funny the whole time. If anybody works for the Browns, let me come call a game. Let you can do come. a preseason one. Yeah, I'll come do a preseason game. <laughs> I absolutely there you go. Will. Next time the Bears are in town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First down. Here yep. we go. At the mm-hmm. line of scrummage. Scrummage. <laughs> <laughs> line of scrummage. We're at the line of scrummage, everybody. Here just, we are. Just mess up every other little word like that. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, at this rate, you might be the coach next season. Yeah, we don't know. Right? You might have that in your future. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah. So Snoop was doing that whole thing. Yeah, that would be fun. That would be me mispronouncing words if I got in the booth. Yes. Ooh, me and Cody Mary call a game. And pound cake. I'm As like, the commentator, so Mary he, does play-by-play and pound kick this color. So yeah. he took that thing and ran into the other thing, and now we're in another inning, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I, well, they, but that if, was a pirouette uh, that he did on the ice. Uh, a pirouette. <laughs> and he's heading towards the field goal, and it's going, going, gone. Yeah, that's game, folks. Amen. Drive home safe. <laughs> Drive home safe. <laughs> that's the game. Drive home safe, everybody. I wouldn't know what's I haven't there. seen a lot of pair of wets. A pair of wets. <laughs> that would be me and Cody at a football game. Yeah. A pair of wets. They fell out of the ice. Look at that Zamboni. <laughs> yeah, they tried. Everyone remembers when Dennis Miller was uh, brought into the Monday night football booth, and that did not go well. Because they were, I mean, the the notion makes sense. You say, hey, let's get somebody up here who's funny, who's articulate. Mm-hmm. Except Dennis Miller is so kind of, you know, makes all these arcane references. And he's like. Which football fans did enjoy. Oh, my God. Oh, they love that. Like, you know sure. We got to do this. I like watching football, but this is a good reminder that I need to read more. That's right. <laughs> like, I could just see him, Cody's like. He hit him like Jessica from Real Housewives. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Who won't check me, boo? That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. He's just going to like a total tangent. This is like that one episode of The Bachelor. No, did you see that one? <laughs> It'd be more mob wives for me, but yes, right. correct. More mob wives. Big right. Ange. <laughs> All right, Karen, I'm taking you to town. <laughs> yeah. We got to do that, dude. That would be great. <laughs> you guys Absolutely. could just do that like play-by-play for mob wives. Yeah. Don't even do it for a football game. Do it for trashy reality TV shows. That works. Mm-hmm. I'm into it. Alan, some of the lines Mary was saying is still better than most of John Madden's insights. The line of scrummage? Yeah, any, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know. But no, Dennis but Miller legend. Dennis Miller was up there like, hey, hey blow him up like uh, uh, Robert Oppenheimer, babe. I mean, that whole thing. People were like, what the hell are you talking about? Yeah, I don't I know. Just I would just be quoting The Office the entire time. <laughs> like, oh, he fumbled that like when Kevin spilled the chili. <laughs> like, <laughs> That is a funny scene, though, when Kevin spills the <laughs> That's chili. That's a great scene. It's <laughs> gross. Saying. It's that funny. That would make people yeah. laugh and be like, he did blow that. He did, yeah. he did drop that ball. <laughs> he really hashtag dropped the chili. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, I'm going to have uh, Magic of Lights passes for you after uh, the break. A Magic of Lights happens at the uh, Cuyahoga County Fairgrounds out there in Berea. It goes through January 4th. They do a fantastic job out there uh, with the lights. and the, It's very exciting. So if you got kids or you just want to get out there yourself, Take a little uh, spin around the place.